Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are going to cash off some amount of money. Okay, we're gonna call this a little bit of a continuance of chaos from last week. Now, if you didn't catch last week's video, then you might wanna pop on over. This is going to be a cash stuffing. I guess we can go ahead and count what we have. While we count what we have though, let me do a first, like right off the bat little disclaimer, if you will. This is not a standard cash stuffing for me. I'm usually a bit more organized, however, if you got last week's video, you know last week was very emotional. There was a lot of things just going on with the kids. This week, not so emotional, but continued chaos because I am now sick. So I had pulled a bunch of money from the bank. I did not cash up it. So I've just been pulling money to pay for things. I feel very disheveled. I don't have the amount of money that's supposed to be here. We are gonna count and see what is left though. Let's go ahead and do that. 50, 100, 52, 50, 300. 310, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 336 dollars left to cash stuff today. I already know the 50s, I want them to go towards bills. Let me show you guys what I am thinking. Okay, we have 300 dollars in 50s, so let's pull 200 of these 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. We're gonna pull 200 out, we're putting 300 in, so really we're just adding 100. I wish we were adding more to bills. If you don't know, I was behind on bills for last month, just meaning typically at the start of the month, I would have like the whole month figured out. Okay, how do I explain this sick? <laughs> for example, I save all of July typically for like August bills, so I'm always a month ahead. Well, I wasn't really like a month ahead for July, so I had told you guys like I will I'm just hoping to be able to save for August while I'm paying some of the July bills that I didn't save for. I'm sorry guys, I'm sick. So I'm not sure if I'm making any sense here or what. But I would definitely want to be further ahead on bills than I am right now. Let's count and see what we do have. 50, 152, 5300. We technically only added 100 for this week. 320, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53. 653 dollars is what we have towards our bills i would love to have more like a thousand that's typically more around the range that we're at at this point in the month but i'm happy to say that at the start of this month or like this first half of the month really i have you know i've paid everything for july now so next week's money should like more of it will go towards bills for august i'm later than i like to be but you know i'm not like really actually behind on anything which is nice so now we can kind of divide up this money so i don't know where my last actual update is because y'all know last week was emotional not super budget related updated you know so i'm in a rhymey mood today aren't i so i let's chat about my budget some things may need to get pulled car insurance for example i'm calling car insurance this week to pay car insurance so we're gonna pull, we have a placeholder in here. This means that the real money is in my savings account, but I keep a placeholder so that I know how much in that savings account is allotted towards car insurance. So I'm gonna call them this week. I'm hoping the $500 covers everything that I need to pay for car insurance. We are also gonna pull back to school. This is getting a little tricky, y'all. I promise you, if you're just tuning in, last week was a weird cash budget video for me. This week is a weird cash budget video for me. I'm just a little thrown off, and I will say, I think next week, if I can make the time for it, or even the next week, we're gonna sit down with my budget, pen and paper style, and get back to tracking everything, making sure I'm handling everything correctly, and we might make check-ins a little bit more frequent on this channel. Back to school though, I, with our weekly money, act like with our weekly money this week, I bought some back to school needs. So we have $100 in the savings account that I'm actually gonna be able to pull, and I'm gonna put this money here, and we will, we might go back and put some of this money into bills. Yearly memberships, let's stuff some money into that. NASA stamp, I can say now at this point, my kids were in summer camps. One of the summer camps they were in was a NASA summer camp. So much fun, um, but that's why I have a tattoo from it. I didn't announce over the summer exactly what my kids were in and what they were doing. 
just for safety reasons but now that they're out I can kind of fill you guys in I'm trying to grab a pencil and it's not working I can fill you guys in in hindsight as I sort of think about it what kind of camps they were in and what was going on this summer NASA camp was one of them so ignore the tattoo I am fairly certain that we are moving at this point my sister-in-law is actually we're gonna put $20 in memberships my sister-in-law and my my sister-in-law is married to my twin brother, right? And then they have a daughter together. My twin brother moved for work a couple of months ago and now his wife is moving up to join him. They are like permanently moving. And so I think my parents and I are gonna try to make a trip up soon to visit where they're moving because we are considering following them up in the move. Now my parents and I live separate, but my parents help me a lot with the kids. I absolutely love my parents. I love our whole family. So I'm trying to keep everybody together. You know, I would love to move and have everybody in the same state. I need to move anyway for health insurance. So I mean, it might all work out perfectly. I'm over explaining all of that to say yearly memberships. I am going to go ahead and add $20 because if we move, you know, in six months, three months, a year, whatever our moving time ends up being, I want to be ready to get some new yearly memberships for the place that we're moving. We now have 20, 40, $50 in yearly memberships penny challenge I told you guys I was going to see where we were at I definitely did not let's see 15 so we need about $30 just to color in two of them we need $14 and 49 cents and then $14 and 98 cents so to keep things simple I want to go ahead and add 30 and color in these two places here this is for Christmas for us I am so sorry I'm gonna try to cut out the sniffling so you guys don't hear me but I am definitely sick. I had so many fun video ideas, guys, and I still do plan on putting up the videos I talked about in my last live. If you didn't catch my last live, don't worry about it. Lives are very informal. Um, if you want to go catch them, you can certainly go watch them, but I, you guys, if you watch the live, you know what videos I'm talking about. I still plan on making all of the video ideas that we had discussed. It's just probably gonna come up through the weekend and stuff. Now, I am starting to feel better. I just still sound very off. $100 in the savings account for the penny challenge and then 50, 70, 90, 210, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. $234 towards our penny challenge. Next is celebrating the boys birthdays. I think I have figured out what we're going to do for my youngest son. At least I know exactly what he wants to do. And I think most of his money is going to go towards gifts. And I know what kind of a hangout slash birthday party we're going to do. If you caught my video last week, you know, I was stressed about it. I honestly don't think we're going to need more than what's already in here. So I, I was thinking before I looked at our placeholders that we need to add some money. I think we are totally fine for birthdays for what the boys are wanting to do and what they're wanting to get for their birthdays. Extra car payment. Let's skip these last two just for now. We're going to try to come back to them. But before we do too much, I do want to come back. This is normally the wallet that I would stuff first because this is my weekly money. We're going to skip Monday and Tuesday. Like I said, I had been pulling cash that I pulled from the bank at the start of the week before I got sick. And I did some spending on the cards this week. But we don't need any Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday grocery money because that money is spent. We will go ahead and put $75 for our Friday, Saturday grocery money. If you don't know, I put $75 this covers our fast food, our groceries, and our toiletries, household items. I like to shop three times a week because it keeps me a little bit more accountable, especially with the fast food eating. And then on Sunday, we don't get any money on Sunday. You will see the next thing is gas. We don't get money on Sunday. That's kind of a clean the fridge, make it work kind of a day for us. Gas, I'm actually pulling this money, like I said, because my two weeks now have been so crazy and off back to back. It's just wild in here. I did get gas earlier this week. Didn't even pull this money. I put $60 in the car on the card. And so I'm just going to have to um, pay myself back with next week's check on that. Summer fun for the rest of the week. We don't have anything going on. So we're actually going to skip that. And Duncan, I'm not giving myself any Duncan money this week either. I'm sick. I don't need Duncan. So the only money we really did stuff in here is the groceries and fast food, you know, like toiletries kind of budget money for Friday and Saturday. Moving on, and then I think we're just gonna stuff most of this into bills, but let's go back to extra car payment. 
we're gonna skip this for now and we're just gonna put some money into the 100 envelope savings challenge this is more an emergency sinking fund for me throughout the year if we're able to keep this money in here i think i would love to put it towards the car y'all know i want to get rid of that car <laughs> that car payment um but let's put a high amount in here let's see what do we have 20 40 60 80 one let's do let's color in the 81 down here this is our emergency fund anyways i don't even think i said hi at the start of this video hi <laughs> i hope that your week is going well mine really is going well even though i'm sick we started our homeschool schedule this week like we started our homeschooling routine it's a little bit it's not like a perfect week because i was sick but i did the best that i could and we are also wrapping up some like summer fun stuff so it has been a very very busy week even though i'm sick i've still been able to get some things going i'm feeling better today too even though i still sound a little bit off so i'm going to be working in the office a bit tonight so i think we're like on the right track right but I hope that you guys this week has been amazing. I hope that everybody is well. I hope you're enjoying outside and you're enjoying the summer. Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing this week. 100 envelope savings challenge, $1,000 in the bank in our savings account. And then we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, $1,143 towards our emergency fund or 100 envelope savings challenge okay before we come back to bills we're going to leave this open just as a reminder to myself about what in the world we're trying to do right now but i do want to open this wallet this is our fun money wallet so let's see i know some of these starting months have a little bit more than the other months yeah here we go for six okay we could do that let's put six in here and then we get to color in three of the twos once we are done saving $50 per month. I do want to start a, another monthly savings with the 100 total. If you don't know everything you see in my videos is from my Etsy shop, but I am using these. You could use these as like a buffer in your, in your budget. You could use these however you want. I am using these as fun money. Once I get all of them stuffed with $50, we're going to start using whatever month we're in while we save for a hundred dollar total with the rest of them when the summer fair comes around when monster jam comes around you know like disney on ice y'all know all the things right comments below like all the things what are the things that kind of sneak up on you guys if you have kids if you don't have kids what is something you tend to splurge on for yourself is it going out to a nice dinner whatever it is that thing that you want to splurge on that you're like oh my goodness that is this month well that's what this is going towards for me for me that's more like like i said monster jam stuff like that so once we get these colored in now 50 dollars is not going to get us three tickets to monster jam but it's certainly better than having nothing waiting right and then once i switch over to the 100 dollar total it's going to get us almost all the way through some you know some fun event some kid thing and in the summer i tend to get like a chuck e cheese pass or we tend to go to summer movies like it will help with just those fun things i'm using it as like a fun money fund but you guys can use it as an emergency fund or however you're wanting to do it is this the right i never know if i'm grabbing the right that's not it that's not it this is it y'all look at all of these which watch me get them mixed up again why are there so many versions of orange now I love orange. Orange is my favorite color, but this is why I never get the oranges right because the oranges and the yellows all kind of, <laughs> they look the same to me. Okay, we're gonna add $6 to June. Okay, we're actually adding four as well. One, two, three, four. And this is gonna be the last one we color for this week. Now, I am thinking guys, let me know what is months that you try to do a no spend. I think I'm actually gonna do a no spend for August with the exception of my youngest son's birthdays at the end of August but I think we're gonna do no fast food we're gonna no, do no spending and we're gonna see how much of this we can buff up it's just a little challenge I've been thinking it would be really nice for me to do because curriculum wise we're set back to school we're set we have memberships places so I really shouldn't be overspending August is still very hot in Mississippi so I shouldn't be like going to any fairs I don't care what comes around like I think August is just gonna be a no spend for me and put as much as I can into our different wallets and kind of see what happens you know whatever is left here is gonna go into bills so let's see what we have left 
if this video was a little short chaotic a little off tempo for my average videos I'm sorry I know I usually don't have it put together so I don't know why I'm apologizing so much because I never have it together but it's been a couple of really weird weeks back to back this week was gonna be great it's just I got sick <laughs> so like schedule wise nothing else has happened you know we're adding 20 40 60 80 100 10 11 we're adding 111 to bills do we want to count it again I guess sure why not right so let me put this in order and then we will count it again oh and I added another hundred so I think I'm gonna get to color in two more spots most of my trackers that I use are not the black and white but I think this one is so cute this is the vertical challenge sold in like a set of 27 challenges I think but it's the only one that I'm using in the black and white version I think it's so cute with the green bills that I'm coloring in Anyways, okay, 50, 100, 50, 2, 50, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. We're going to put that together. 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 720, 40, 50, 5, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 764 dollars towards our bills. So we really are not too far off. And you know, we might wait, what is today? It's Wednesday the 19th, which means I should be getting my check from YouTube on Friday. As long as it comes on Friday and doesn't wait until like the next Monday, I will come back later this week, either Friday or Saturday and do a cash stuffing for my YouTube check. So that could be really fun. And we'll definitely get caught up on bills if not just complete it and then stuff what is left. So that is it for this video. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.